In anticipation that the Federal Reserve will not raise its benchmark rate at the next FOMC meeting on Wednesday, market participants have moved gold substantially higher. The Fed will get one last piece of information, the PCE, which will be released on Tuesday, the first day of the FOMC meeting. Hello traders, Gary Wagner here, 1213 in Honolulu, 613 in New York on Friday. Happy Aloha Friday as we say on the islands. It is the 9th day of June 2023 and this is uh, the Weekend Review. Although gold finished lower on the day, it did finish higher on the week, now the second consecutive week of higher closes. Gold bases the most active August contract, lost $2.90 in trading today, and is currently fixed at $1,975.70. Although trading has been choppy and defined by a narrow range, what we can see on our weekly chart is a dramatic decline from $2,083 down to the lows it came in last week. The last two weeks are green candles, which means it has closed above its opening price, and we've seen higher closes when compared to the previous week. When we look at our daily candlestick chart, which I've just put up, we can see that over the last five to eight trading days, we have seen a defined range between resistance, which is the 50-day moving average fixed at $2,000.70, and the 100-day moving average, which is 1948. We are still in full bullish alignment in that the highest value is the 50-day moving average, followed by the 100 and the 200 is well below this. My sense is that once the Federal Reserve announces a pause in rate hikes, we should challenge current resistance at 2000 and trade higher and off that. On Monday, we'll talk about our game plan for the upcoming FOMC meeting. If the most appropriate action is to go long August gold, we will send out a trade alert via SMS text message and email. Silver, basis the most active July contract, gained almost five cents today and is currently fixed at $24.39.5. A lot of the gains this week came from yesterday when silver gained 3.5%. I have to apologize in that I have not updated our subscribers on our current long silver trade. We entered a long position right around June 2nd buying July silver at 2364 and placing our stop at 2295 that would be roughly right at this candle here on our daily chart the market never came near our stop but i haven't reported nor have i raised the stop and i will change that today yesterday we had a tremendous upside move that upside move took silver 3.5% higher. Today, silver traded to a high right around the 50-day simple moving average at $24.62. That's the screen line here. It effectively closed at $24.41. And so we are recommending that we move our stop up below today's low and move it to $24.62 and 26 cents move your stop gtc good till canceled and maintain your long silver position at 2364 my target if we can see silver break above the 50-day moving average is going to be approximately 24 dollars and 90 cents that would be our best bet because i think that if it does reach this high we could run into some technical resistance the dollar gained 0 0.20 percent with the index currently fixed at 103.525 it did trade lower on the week as you know for the last couple of weeks I have been advocating that I thought that the dollar was getting very top heavy and we would see lower pricing. We can see that we can identify really a rounded top in the dollar index over the last two weeks 
and specifically yesterday's strong move about three quarters of a percent kind of sealed the deal in terms of the dollar heading lower. My sense is that we could see the dollar trade to easily 102. 102 would take it roughly to the 50% Fibonacci retracement. And the retracement set that we are looking at is really the last leg of this rally beginning at 100.42 up to this top at approximately 104.60. As I said, I would expect the dollar to continue to decline. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We'll talk to you after the weekend for the next daily update and review. Bye-bye. If you like our report, remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.